This year, the first time TV cameras have been allowed inside one of the neighborhoods now housing nearly 13,000 Afghan refugees that have arrived here at Fort McCoy. You can see soldiers out there playing. Kids love anything that has to do with the soccer ball. It is no secret inside the walls of Fort McCoy. And to do it as safely, humanely, and expeditiously as possible. The immense national pressure this mission entails. They've built uh, benches, they've built, uh, you know, kind of common areas. 12 News among a handful of national journalists granted access Thursday as military leaders at the direction of the Biden administration have transformed Fort McCoy into a city of 13,000. Complete with classrooms and English classes underway, a dining hall now feeding three meals a day. Covers seven days, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And a massive clothing and distribution center. And the soldiers will help them get their sizes and everything that they need. But it's also a city with new challenges. Congressional pressure on vetting who's arrived, how Afghans are being treated, and already two refugees facing federal criminal charges. It's an extremely low rate of crime uh, given the size of the population that's have, here. Have any other cases been referred to the Justice Department? No. For the first time, we met some of the children, women, and men who were forced to flee their native land. <laughs> The circumstances and situation in Afghanistan wasn't good. Military officials say nearly half the refugees are children, many families of Afghans who served alongside the U.S. And uh, he's the man that I'm glad to, to in, a United, in the United States because of him. He tried to help me. Medically speaking, the base has partnered with a number of hospitals in the region. Military officials saying already a six-year-old boy has underwent heart surgery at UW-Madison, and more than 200 women on base are currently pregnant. At Fort McCoy, I'm Matt Smith, WISN 12 News.